Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. I'm Vikram here. I'm an SAP architect and in this video we are going to discuss some basic topics that are very much required for understanding the concept of ABAP. Now here in this introduction we are going to discuss about the concept of ERP, SAP and ABAP. What exactly is ERP? ERP is a concept. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning and I'm taking an example here like a car just like a car is a concept mobile phone is a concept ERP is also a concept now just like I cannot call a chair as a car I cannot call every software as an ERP software that should have some basic features with which it has been defined as an ERP software any company can come up and manufacture an ERP software just like any company can come up and manufacture a car provided they have the basic features of a car similarly any company can come up and manufacture an ERP software SAP SAP AG is a company now I'm taking an example here BMW X1 in BMW X1 BMW is a company name X1 is the model name Similarly, most of those SAP softwares we refer to always start with SAP, SAP EC 6.0 wherein EC 6.0 is the software name and SAP is the company name. In fact, here most of the people refer to a BMW X1 car as a BMW car because BMW is not just a company name, it's also a brand name. So similarly, SAP is not just a company name, it's also a brand name. So most of the people say we are working on SAP software because SAP is very much familiar to the people across the world. Now, coming to the concept of ERP, we are going to discuss in detail about ERP. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Enterprise is a huge business organization in which we have a lot of resources like we have money, manpower, missionary, marketing methods, all these are the different resources that we have in an enterprise. And we can take an example of an enterprise. For example, Coca-Cola is an enterprise or BMW is an enterprise or American Express Bank is an enterprise. You can take these uh, as examples of enterprises and that in every enterprise we have certain resources like money, manpower, missionary, materials, marketing methods and etc. In this we need to do the planning. So what does the planning mean? Planning means utilization and optimization of resources. Effective utilization is to make the use of the resource. For example, we have a thousand employees working in our company. All the thousand employees given assigned work is called utilization. And whereas how to get the same kind of a work in next year with 500 employees. So that we are optimizing the things. Now, how do we achieve a task in 50 rupees instead of 100 rupees? So here, what exactly we are doing is we are reducing the resources, but still getting the maximum output of it. That's the meaning of optimization. Now we are discussing about the various resources that we have in a company. Now here we have money. As we all know, money is taken care by the finance, accounting and costing departments. Materials is taken care by the warehouse, transportation, material management and purchasing department people. And marketing is taken care by the distribution, sales and marketing departments. Manpower is taken care by the EHS, HR and training. EHS here means enterprise, environment, health and safety. Machinery is taken care by the production, quality analysis, production planning, controlling and maintenance people. And methods is are taken care by the corporate administration, research and development, supply chain management, customer relationship management departments. Now, what do we understand by this is there are a lot of departments in an organization which handle one or the other resources. Now, why are we talking about this is because enterprise ERP software is very much linked to running this business. Now, why ERP? We need to understand why we have to use an ERP. For example, I'm taking a, a scenario in which each of these departments that we were discussing about is working on a particular software. HR department is running on Java software. Finance department is running on Tally software. Maintenance department is working on C++ and SD sales and distribution is working on Visual Basic. Fine. When it comes to the running the department, it would be fine for us to use that particular software. But the major problem would come when integration comes. So here we need to understand the scenario that we have taken as an example. Here each set of applications developed on the different technologies, fine. Each set of applications work with different database systems and different operating systems. Communication between becomes impossible because of you know lack of integration between the departments. Each business area is computers but they cannot integrate with each other. But first of all we need to understand why do we need the integration. 
why do we need the integration of business process across the functional operations now here if a customer gives an order but now he inquires the customer service department about his order now the customer service department have to run around different departments and finally have to get the exact data and give it to the customer whether it is in the manufacturing whether it's in already transported or whether it is already been delivered or it is about to be delivered this status is been given by the customer service department to the customer now in this scenario we can see very well that without the integration between the departments very very difficult for the customer service department to give the right kind of a status to the customer now this integration is not just required for a particular uh, transaction or the a task but every task or every transaction which happens in a company it needs integration between the departments more or less it needs the integration that's the reason instead of going for a different software for different departments we are going for a single software on which all the departments work on the single software we have single database and we have single operating system what exactly we are trying to do is instead of using multiple softwares for multiple departments we are using a single software for all the departments that's the concept of erp enterprise resource planning any software in the world which can handle all the departments of a company and all the resources of a company and handle it properly is called an ERP software. Now, the specialty of ERP software is it integrates all the departments. Now, it's just like your smartphone. In the past, if you see, there were diff different utilities, uh, different uh, objects that we have. We used to have cameras for taking the photographs. We used to have video cams to take the video, video graph, and uh, we have laptop to integrate with the internet. Now, if you make use of a smartphone, a smartphone integrates more than 40 different appliances like that. And all these appliances are very closely integrated. So I don't have to wait for a long time to, to upload my pic which is taken in the smartphone into the internet or into my social, net, social set networking site. So what exactly I'm trying to do is I'm integrating everything in a smartphone. So similarly, an ERP software integrates all the departments of a company which makes us to do the tasks very easily and you know the rework of every entry is also been avoided so erp is a very powerful tool to run a very huge and complex companies now enterprise resource planning normally is defined as an expanded effort to integrate marketing financial manufacturing human resources in a single information system it's a standardized record keeping permits information sharing throughout the organization now erp system includes single integrated software program single database information is shared and communicated between all the departments and automates customer orders order fulfillment billing shipping etc and even the tracking of all the tasks can be very easy when we are implementing erp software in our organization now there are a lot of erps and we have to understand why we have to learn sap there are a lot of erps like ban oracle apps navigation people soft mmg pro orion and sap if you observe carefully most of these erps are already been taken over by the big companies or they are not no more existent like PeopleSoft is taken over by Oracle and now it's Oracle apps it's a part of Oracle apps Navigen is taken over by Microsoft SAP is the world's largest company in ERP softwares and it is also the oldest ERP manufacturing companies now why SAP SAP is having a very huge global presence and it has got a huge market share in the world in ERP software and it was developed by a company called SAP AG, established in Germany in 1972 by five ex IBM employees. It was first developed on punch cards and 50 top German companies became their clients in first three years. With this encouragement, they came up, launched a global company and first company to focus on providing a software solution for business process management. No good competitor for 18 years and product is more than 40 years now. And, uh, completely developed needs simple customization thereby enabling rapid implementation sap is the world's leading provider of business software solutions as we already discussed today more than 50000 customers in over 120 countries run more than 1 lakh installations of sap software from distinct solution addressing the needs of small and mid sized businesses to enterprise scale and solutions for global organizations as well now, I can give you a lot of examples of a global organizations which were really benefited by implementing SAP. Like you can say BMW, you can say Rand Baxi, you can take example of American Express Bank. You can have a lot of, you have Nike shoes, 
they have implemented SAP, uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. You can name more than uh, 50,000 brands throughout the world like that. Now here, what exactly is ABAP now? ABAP by 4 is the only coding language to develop any new applications in SAP software. In fact, all the existing applications that are already been written in SAP are also written on ABAP by 4 language. All the existing applications in SAP are also developed in ABAP by 4. Now, ABAP by 4 stands for Advanced Business Application Programming Language. 4 is the fourth generation and it's a proprietary language of SAP. Now, what do we mean by that? What is a proprietary language? Now, here I'm taking an example of an iPhone. If at all you want to develop a new app in an iPhone, then that new app can be developed in iOS software. So, you need to have a very good knowledge or command over iOS language. Only then you can write an app in, a, in an Apple iPhone. Similarly, if you want to develop any new applications in SAP, you need to be aware of ABAP by 4 because all the applications, any new applications that have to be written in SAP can be written only in ABAP. Now, I'm taking a concept of what exactly we are going to do in an SAP software. Just like iPhone is a ready-made appliance, which is 90% ready for the customers to use, SAP EC6.0 is also a ready-made software which is 90% ready for a, a company or an organization or an enterprise to use. I'm taking a very simple example here wherein iPhone has been bought by Jack and Jack is struggling to get all the installations done and you know customization configurations done in an iPhone and also he needs all the old data in his lap and the mobile phone to be put into iPhone. Now, this is a simple process, but it's a very time taking process since Jack is not an expert in all these things. He gives this work to Peter who can complete this task in a very stipulated time frame. Now, similarly, SAP EC6.0 is also a software which is 90% ready for BMW to use, but remaining 10% customization configuration involves the business process. For example, BMW delivers the car only after the complete payment has been done in cash. If that's the condition, that condition have to be implemented in SAP. And who's going to do that? SAP consultants are going to do that. And if at all you want to have a new application, like BMW wants to have a new screen which is not there in SAP at all till now, then companies like IBM who are implementing for BMW, we're going to develop that. So we are going to develop new screens, you're going to develop new entries, and all this stuff it can be done in ABAP and that can be done by sitting in the IBM. Now, in the next video, I'll be discussing about the various subtopics in ABAP by 4 and what exactly all these subtopics means. I'll give you an overview of that in the next video.